Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Today we're going to be starting Tumble, a new hospital from a small town that attracts tourists from across the country to climb Tumble Ridge and hike along the Tumble Downs. Lucky for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. We'll need to build a fracture ward to deal with these injuries. I recommend building a standard ward and other essentials too. Make sure to keep everyone warm with some radiators. There's also seismic activity in Tumble, so look out for earthquake warnings. We need janitors ready to deal with any damage. Okay, so temperature. Basically, we need to put radiators. There's a thermal comfort rating, as if we didn't already have stuff to deal with. They're just throwing us more curveballs as we go. So the aim of this is to get a thermal comfort of 60%, a cure rate of 60%, and cure 50 patients. So we're going to start by building our reception. I'm going to build it right here. Patients will come in via helicopter, so we just need to make sure that we've got a decent sized reception area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build it from the back here. Just go all the way back there. One, two, three, and then come out a little bit like so. Is that right? Oh, I'll make it a little bit longer, actually. Um, let's add a wall here. There. Lovely. Right, now let's put a hatch in and then a couple of reception pods. I think that looks nice. It's a shame that we can't change the flip it so that there's like a different, you know. We'll put some filing cabinets there. Oh, well, that is annoying. Why can't I just put those filing cabinets together? That's a pain. Oh, wait, can we actually fit another one there and then get us? No, still can't. Damn. And that won't even go along further either. Well, we'll just have to do one there. Mini filing cabinet there. Reception pod there. Mini filing cabinet there. Another reception pod. And another filing cabinet. There we go. Right, we made it work. We'll put a radiator right here. And then a coffee maker. Why not? So that the uh, receptionist can actually have a little drink while they're on shift. A nice rose bush to make things look nice. And then flowers. Do we have some flowers that we can put on the uh, reception? Excellent. Now, why is that suddenly in the way? One there. One there. And maybe we'll buy something else. More flowers. Go on then. <laughs> Just flowers everywhere. Lovely. Right. So we need to hire some assistants. We're just going to take all three of the available ones. And then build a GP's office. So our GP's office, we're going to have it here. And we're just going to make a small one. I don't want to cause like any bottlenecks or anything anywhere in this hospital. But it is going to mean that we're going to have to really work hard to utilise the space a lot better. And make sure that everybody has at least a tier three prestige room. Put a radiator in place and then a bootcase. Probably fit it there. And then a rose bush in the corner. And I guess some windows would help too, seeing as it's quite a small room. Put one there, one there. A bin. I don't know if we're gonna actually make it. <laughs> I don't think we have enough space. Can we put some wall art in? A light-headed poster right there and a clown poster next to it. And we'll finish it off with a, a couple of wall dressings. Just the one will do then. But for some reason, now the desk, we don't have enough space. There we go. It's a bit compact, but it'll do. And I also want to um, customize the walls. Woodworm. And then let's change the floor to Batten Brown. No. Atrium. Oh, that's nice. Right. Lovely. And I'm going to leave it at that for now until we actually get some people coming in. I should probably hire a doctor, though. Ooh, big doctor. Wonderful. And then we'll take another one. And we'll leave it at that. Nurses are probably going to be key, seeing as they're going to be working in the wards. So we'll take all three of our nurses. And we also need to hire some janitors. 
got a ghost hunter there that would be decent and a mechanic great so here comes our first patient we don't have anything else put down this guy has a fractured arm and will require a fact fracture clinic so let's build our fracture clinic and I think we're gonna have to build this quite big because I've taken a little look at what's actually in the fracture clinic and it's uh, pretty extensive the size of the machinery that gets used in them so I'm gonna build that like so we we'll put the ward door here and then windows either side because that's gonna be a little seating area for people who are waiting for reception and probably this room too now the traction bed we can put all the way along here we'll put three in place then you need a nurse's station which we can drop down there and then a plaster caster and we'll put two of these in place and hope that that's going to be enough to manage the increased foot traffic we have from people breaking bones and doing silly things on mountains <laughs> get rid of that window We've got two lockers in place can we squeeze a filing cabinet in somewhere for the nurse no we'll move this locker then get rid of it and put the filing cabinet in and maybe we put a few just a weighing scale there and that's it tier three we need a ward um oh an actual ward right <laughs> wasn't expecting to need one of them right now in fact can we maybe just have these lapping over each other like so I think that's a good idea right let's quickly edit this room and just move this door we put it there so we'll move these things get rid of that window for now put the door in and then we put the window no, we'll not put the window in place. Right, that's better. Now we can build our proper ward and have it kind of like overlapping like this. There. And then we put the door for that right here. The nurse station can go tucked into this corner. We put a locker in here filing cabinet and a medicine cabinet and again with the weighing scales screens are going to go all the way along this here and then our beds can go one two three potentially a fourth yep there we go nice right okay so we've got our ward and our fracture clinic speed things up see if we get anyone else in I know the hospital isn't covering its costs but that's all right for now what we'll do is we'll copy this room and put another one down two doctors officers and then we can probably put we'll put a few seats down now oh there's a helicopter coming in just slow the speed down a touch and we will put down a drinks machine a snack machine a bin and a recycling bin which I can't actually fit in so never mind but a radiator might also be a good shout just to warm the place up a bit we need some in here as well actually oh, I can't fit one there I can fit one there and it kind of overlaps and if I put one in this room that warms that space up a touch and then here nice and toasty and I can actually fit one right in there not great but it works it'll do next up what was I gonna do oh yes benches benches so we're gonna put a bench here and then one Ooh, can we move that a little bit further didn't mean to sell that I meant to move it there it's a little bit cramped but 
Oh, damn. Nope, not going to work. Right. Um, let's see. What if we did this? Perfect. That works better. Lovely. Little cramped, but it does the job right. We need to build a pharmacy. And I think it will fit one perfectly in there. So this is, again, going to be a cramped room. Not a lot of space. But at the moment, I don't actually have the space to, to use, considering I need to build two huge rooms on that side of the, on the opposite side of the hospital. It is going to be um, difficult until we get enough money to expand into one of our new areas. There are a lot of new areas in this map, actually. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be much of a problem once we finally start making a little bit of money to be able to do this. But for now, it is tough. That's our pharmacy in place. Let's speed things up. This doctor's cold. We could do with a staff room. I just want to make sure that I'm not interfering too much with the actual plan for the... That is not the staff room I want to create. <laughs> Put one there, and then a couple of windows just along this space. Get a sofa in, and an armchair. A hand sanitizer. Coffee maker. Drop down a bookcase as well. Some plants just to make it look nice. Uh, we get a radiator in place. There we go. Should warm the space up a little bit and then probably another one right there. The slithery hamper, which is always an entertaining spectacle for our staff. I don't know why, but they do enjoy it. And then maybe we can put down something a little bit more entertaining for them, like a pinball machine. There we have it. Toilets. Now our toilets are going to go here. somewhere like this and it's just gonna be a small one for now anyway can I actually fit another wall there yeah I can great okay then we put the door right here so that there's a little bit more privacy for people who actually go and use the facilities and then a sink here and here and a hand dryer just there finish it off with a couple of bins a hand sanitizer and another one I guess we'll put a radiator in that's prestige level 3 already, and we're good to go. So we've got a thermal comfort rating of 60%, a cure rate of 60%, and we've cured one patient. Next, let's put in some more benches, just around this space here. Just running along here so that people can actually sit down outside of where they're going for treatment. And then we can probably put a couple there. Nice. Just taking up a little bit of space every time. Decent cure rate. We've cured 50 patients. And the current rooms that we're using are working well. We've got an emergency for the fracture clinic. We'll accept that early on and see if we can actually make it work I suppose patients coming in a little bit quicker now here come the emergency lot one two three four five and what's the queue like in there the queue is five or five of the emergency patients and they're at the front of the queue so that's that's good and I guess we could probably do with another nurse We'll take Ellie Doom. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with uh, hiring a, a nurse called Ellie Doom. <laughs> but we'll let it pass for now. Okay, things are going pretty well. Staff training required. Uh, we don't have a training room yet. And I don't want to get one right now, I'm afraid. Now, maybe it's time for us to expand into a new plot. So we'll grab that one. That'll be ready in 15 days. 
maybe we could build a, a new training room in this little space, but I don't really want to. I want to wait for like demand to come in for an extra for another room. We've not managed to cure this person who has portish head. Portish head, sorry. <laughs> Maybe we should build a training room. Hospital attractiveness of 70% challenge. Okay, right. Let's uh, start putting some plants in place. Oh no, we've killed someone. Do I have a, like, ex a ghost exterminator anywhere? But we're slowly increasing the attract attractiveness of the hospital. I'm just popping these plants down. These will probably be sold once I've completed this staff challenge, so it's not too much of an issue right now. I'm <laughs> just dropping them in. As you can see, right, okay, so there we go. We've got a pans lab that we need to buy. So we'll get rid of this and build our pans lab right here. We know the Pans Lab's a big machine, so we unfortunately have to build into this huge space that we did have and just sacrifice a little bit of it. But luckily, we've unlocked that new area of the hospital, so we can actually just move into that ASAP. Put a few more rose bushes in, and we'll stick an eye test poster up. It's Prestige Level 3, and the Pans Lab is in place. So you should be good to go, my friend, and get yourself cured. Cure rate is still pretty good. It's what we expect it to be anyway. I'm going to throw down some leaflet stands. I'm going to move this plant into a more appropriate place. And then I think we put some benches in just along this wall here. And we can probably put in another drinks machine. And a salty snack machine. Just about fit a bin in, and we should probably put in some radiators. Just to keep everyone nice and warm. Oh, that's too hot. Just pick that plant up and move it, and then we should be able to put a radiator in this little gap here. There we go, nice. What do you need? Well, the authorities have yet to reveal what species. Okay, 87% sure of the diagnosis. Let's send them for treatment. Let's take that risk. Oh, no. We've Oh, oh no, we cured three out of five. We're okay. That's fine. Good stuff. We'll send them for treatment as well. Just take the risk. I don't know how we managed to... Uh, I thought we'd failed that. Right, we need more doctors. Bobby Factory. Okay. <laughs> we discovered Monobrow. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll... Um, got a lot of patients that we can't quite diagnose. I think it could be because we need the general diagnosis built. So let's build that in our new space here. Right. So, general diagnosis. Build that one here. And we'll just put a few more decorative items in. What 
am I missing? Oh, hand sanitizer. That's the other thing that I always put in. <laughs> Still only level two. There we go, level three. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there. And uh, next episode, we'll crack on with this getting to the one-star hospital. In fact, let's not do that. Let's get this hospital up to a good standard so we can complete that quest. And then what I'll do is I'll jump ahead and we'll finish off tier one. And I'll show you what we did. All right, so we've done it. We've made it to a one-star hospital and unlocked the small radiator. I'm just going to show you what we've done. So... Everything here looks pretty much the same. We've not really changed much there. We ended up building a general diagnosis right here and a deluxe clinic, as well as our training room and another ward. That was actually to cope with an emergency set of patients that we got in, but also increased demand. We then started getting more general diagnosis issues, so we had to build another one here. And two new GPs officers in here. I also just put down this cardiology building just in case because we were getting a lot of um, patients that weren't fully diagnosed but all in all we got actually we made it through one year and i just need to have a quick let's have a look oh no that's gone back to the world map <laughs> let's get back in there we go overview so we had a Doctor of the Year award, Nurse of the Year, a Rising Star award, Employer of the Year, and the most prestigious hospital. Our finances looking pretty good. We did have a little bit of a tumble right here, but other than that, we've stabilized and everything's looking good. Our staff, predominantly, not massively happy with their pay. Low, like around about middling energy, but the morale's okay. Hospital hygiene's good, temperature rating's pretty good, and everything else is kind of nice and looking decent. So we don't have any long queue warnings now. Patient satisfaction is going, our reputation has gone up. We're getting more visitors in. Cure rate is at about 74, 75%. A lot of cures, only nine fails. Generally happiness is pretty good as well. And health is average. We do need to improve all of that. And we can do that in the next one. Everything's looking good. And I'm pretty happy with how we've ended up with this one. So next we'll push on for two stars. Depending on how long it takes us to get to that, we'll go for three. I may just skip through, you know, once we... Because our two-star hospital is cure rate of 70%, cure 100 patients, and a hospital value of 1 million. I am happy with how this has turned out. And it's felt a lot better just actually growing into a hospital rather than throwing down a load of rooms and hoping for the best because it's meant we can be reactive. If I've needed a particular room to be built, I've had space to do that. So really happy with how this one's turned out and I'm looking forward to the next one where we push on for the two and three stars. Thanks for watching again guys. Make sure you drop me a like and a comment and throw that subscribe button a double, not a double click because that'll unsubscribe. Just a single click on the sub button please. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.